Hi, I'm Rachel Greninger with Red Carpet Report, and today we're at the Beverly Hilton for the 53rd Annual Publicist Awards. Hi, Hi. my name's Rachel. How are you, sir? Nice to meet you, Rachel. I love your shoe. I love your suit, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. It, it looks like it's got some sheen to it, but it's actually like checkered, kind of too. Yeah, it's it got a little bit of a print. A bit of, I love that. Yeah. So, honestly and sincerely, FX is one of those networks that I watch almost every show on oh, that's fantastic. every week. Thank you so much. And being, it's it's hard to find a network that I really feel like. Like when your your slogan is FX has the movies, and I love it because you keep stuff really unedited. Being the head of, of FX Networks, how do you make sure that your branding is staying consistent with your viewers? You know, FX is a really unusual brand in that um, rather than sort of uh, defining a brand and imposing it from the top down in the way you think of a brand as existing, it's a color scheme, it's a sensibility, and, and the brand dictates uh, the content. This is a place in which the content dictates the brand. It's really built from the bottom up by character, story, um, the extraordinary originality and perspective of the people that make these shows. We work really, really hard then to publicize and market the exact shows that people make. We work very hard to key our marketing and our publicity and the way we market our movies and the promos we cut from our movies off the work itself. And the thing that's fascinating to me is, so then it starts with all these very, very different pieces of content, these very, very different visions, each with their own idi individual idiosyncratic idea and their idiosyncratic marketing. But then somehow when you put it all together in a channel, in a brand, it feels like a unified whole. Yeah. But that really comes from the bottom up rather than being imposed from the top down. So it's a very different kind of brand in a way. And it just comes from our love of story and our love of the people that tell stories. And that must be why it stands out to me out of everything else, because I feel that FX has evolved as I've even grown older, and especially with American Horror Story, and now with you know American Crime, and so all of these different things. Do you have any other uh, big new shows that are going to be more in the horror genre, maybe, that you're going to be launching on FX coming in the future? I mean, we have two horror shows right now with American Horror Story, which of course changes every year, so it's a different horror genre every year. And then we also have The Strain, so I would never say no to another horror show, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for at the moment. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, Thank you so much for stopping. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, I'm glad excellent. You're a fan. Thank you so I was, much. I really am. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you've seen here, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what you're hoping for on Oscar Sunday with Best Picture.